Well, this is a response to Tom and his particular question that he was asking, what are you great at? Now, the first thing I thought of when I heard that was the differences in opinions between sort of British and Americans about how you sort of view success, because that's what Tom was talking about, what Tom was talking about, was how we're all a little bit hesitant to sort of talk ourselves up because it can seem big headed, egotistical and all that sort of thing. But especially over here in Britain, because in America, you've got this sort of way where you sort of celebrate success. It's everyone's sort of fighting to get success and there's nothing wrong with that and you celebrate it. And, it's, and you, that's the way of life. And I think that's a good thing. Whereas over here in Britain, we seem to sort of celebrate failure. We seem to sort of revel in people sort of doing things wrong. That sort of schadenfreude thing, I think was a German expression about reveling in somebody else's misfortune or something and we love that and we, we're very bad at um, sort of putting ourselves forward sort of bigging ourselves up talking ourselves up celebrating the successes that we've had everybody has successes and that's become a sort of a national characteristic where we're sort of all sort of sitting there we're all sort of seen as reserved etc as well which is probably why a lot of scientists and artists and that move to America or to other parts of the world because we have this big thing over here where we sort of sort of big people up, we sort of blow them out of all proportion and give them sort of far too many sky high expectations and then when they don't achieve them or when someone does become successful we say they're too big for their boots or something like that and we just sort of knock them down again we sort of build them up and knock them down and, it, and then we worry you know sort of wonder why people want to go and live somewhere else that's something that i don't like and i like to think that it's something that's going to change um one other thing that i thought of also is something that i've always thought myself is that i've always had this sort of feeling that everybody no matter who you are has got a talent, something that you can be great at, something that you can really excel at. But the art is finding out what that sort of particular talent is. And for the majority of us, we never find it. We can all think of those great sort of sportsmen, artists, writers, you know, film performer, actors, whatever it might be, who found that one thing in the world that they're really, really good at. I know there's some lucky lucky sods <laughs> that are better, you know, that are great at lots of different things. But I'm sure we've all got a talent. It might be knitting, it might be woodworking, it doesn't matter what it is. It might be public speaking, it might be anything, it doesn't matter. But there's something that you're very, very good at. And we never find it. And we look at those lucky people who actually find that thing that they are really good at and, and they can do that for a living. Most of us have to sort of bumble through life just sort of living a fairly ordinary, mundane type of existence without ever finding that particular thing. So that's one thing I'm always very, very keen on is getting people to try lots of different things, have a go at things because you never know, you may well find that one thing that you're very, very good at and I hope you do and maybe you found it already. Watching a couple of the videos, people have said, you know, express the fact that they're great at certain and things and that's good it does seem a bit weird though as i said people seeing people say well i'm great at this it's it's as tom quite rightly said it is one of those things that we're not we're not good at as a race but certainly not here in britain so when it comes to talking about what i'm great at i tend to think i automatically thought well i don't think i'm great at anything i might be good at things and maybe straight away there we are i'm putting myself down <laughs> as we all do especially over here so what do I think I am good at? Well, I think I'm fairly good at sort of communicating and that sort of thing and doing this type of thing, I suppose. I seem to do quite quite good at that. I think I don't edit the vlogs and all that sort of thing. So sort of uh, that general sort of stream of consciousness type of talking, I'm not too bad at that. I, I've been a, done a bit of sort of DJing and that as well, which probably helps with this type of thing. And I think I'm pretty good at that. I used to play the drums and was pretty good at that, but I stopped doing that for some sort of reason. And um, as for other things, um, I've been the chairman of a couple of sort of organisations and been involved in sort of organisations. I think I'm a fairly good sort of diplomat, but <laughs> and that's about it. That's about the limits of my success. Maybe once again, I'm doing myself a disservice. I'm knocking myself down. But as I said, that's the British way. We're sort of reserved in that way. I'd like to see a change. I'd like to see us sort of celebrate success. Because if you don't celebrate success, whether it be yours or somebody else's, Ultimately, you're sort of holding yourself back. Even as a country, you can be holding yourself back from doing things that could be great in the future, and that would be a real disappointment. There's nothing worse in life than getting to a certain age and looking back and saying, oh, well, I should have done that. I really should have done that in the past. I could have given that a go. I had an opportunity, and I didn't take it. So there you go. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. I don't consider myself to be great at anything, but um, good, yes, at a few different things. But 
One of the other things is that I often think that it's not necessarily for me to say what I'm great at, but for somebody else to point it out, because we don't always realise the talents that we might have. We might think that we're just going along and we're OK at this or OK at that, and other people might see something else in you, so maybe that's another issue. Another one is, maybe you should do another one, Tom, what we're bad at and what we're really crap at doing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another video altogether. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for the question, Tom. As I said in my comment to you, you always get me thinking, so you're great at doing that. That's one thing. So, uh, And you provoked a video response. That can't be bad, can it? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.